SMT Nation, happy holidays to all. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. I wish you all a great holiday season. I wish you an even better uh, and happy new year here in 2021 as we approach. We hope for a better year in 2020. Anyways, wanted to give you guys uh, some extended testing. Uh, this taken from a live stream I did last week. A uh, situation where I wanted to test the T-Mobile 5G network N41 testing. This is part three, site number three. Uh, my previous two videos on the first two parts of the testing. I'll put links in the description box and then I'll also pin it in the comment section down below. N41 2.5 gigahertz T-Mobile midband 5G network testing. Big piece of what their future networking will be. Wanted to provide kind of an overview of what it is. So this is what they're calling their ultra capacity slice. Uh, we'll take a look at it here. We'll test reliability, speeds, and effective range. Uh, so pickup range was about 0.5 miles here in the CLE, the far west side neighborhoods. Kind of industrial fabrication companies, trucking hub, Home Depot. There's plazas for shopping, car parts stores, Target, grocery stores. We're about a half mile away from the freeway. Anyways, we got a monopole, all carriers on it. T-Mobile's lowest positioned uh, antennas there on the site. Uh, the site is about 125 feet up. T-Mobile probably about 90 feet up. Anyways, test number one, 63 millisecond ping, 7 millisecond jitter, 190 uh, megabits on the downlink, 33 megabits on the uplink. That uh, was tested from just under about a half mile while I was driving. Test number two was at the site itself, 59 millisecond ping, 7 millisecond jitter, 221 on the downlink, and uh, 40 megabits per second on the uplink. I also did test number three, as you'll see here, 58 millisecond ping, 6 milliseconds on the jitter, 229 megabits on the downlink and two, uh, 29 megabits per second on the uplink. When I crunched the numbers, the mean downlink speed was about 213 megabits per second. The mean uplink speeds 34 megabits per second with a range of downlink from 190 to 229 and a range of the uplink from 29 to 40 megabits per second. Bandwidth wise, I was connecting to 60 megahertz of N41 and 10 megahertz of band 2 for LTE, 10 megahertz of uh, band 66 for LT effective range test. I did this from about a half a mile. No go. I wasn't actually able to successfully connect as I drove away to the opposite side of the site. So obviously I think based on the original connection, it was probably, uh, you know, more like in direct sight of the tower. So the original connection when I tested from about a half mile away was good. It was solid at the beginning, uh, but it was not able to connect as I went to the opposite side of the tower site. And I drove away in a different direction. So different sector, different obstacles, different variables and factors probably playing a part there. Uh, I'll also throw in that, in my estimation, I don't think this is a great site. I was not impressed by the speeds or the range for that matter. Uh, both metrics were worse compared to the previous two sites that I tested. Again, links in the description box and as well as pinned in the comment section. A lot of room for improvement on this particular site. High latency, the downlink, uh, much to be desired. The uplink was not bad, so I was actually pretty happy with that. It was pretty good. Range is limited, in my opinion. The downlink, according to Neville, should be around 400 megabits per second. I did not see that. Just my experiences. I wanted to share that with you guys here in the CLE, what we're seeing. Comment below with your thoughts on the testing. More N41 testing to come. Subscribe for more to never miss an upload of any network testing from the SMT, whether it's T-Mobile, Ryzen, or AT&T. We're testing it all, and we're bringing it to you live. Uh, thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you soon on the next round of testing. That just about does it for this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to watch. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to give this video a like and share it to all of your favorite social media platforms. Also, consider becoming a subscriber if you'd like more from the SMT. And activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And you'll be the first to know when something does hit the YouTubes. Also, we've got items in the description box. We've got a Discord server. The at Sneetech Twitter handle is there. And there's ways to donate and support SMT creation. Uh, that pretty much does it for today. Thank you so much for being here again. Hope you have a great day, and we'll hopefully see you soon on the next video. Peace.